right. Showing you how to go over a gravel old built up roof and again I got the job because of the pricing and uh, also uh, make it affordable. Um, most people would like to remove this gravel or go with a fiberboard over it and put an EPDM down. I don't recommend that. I use a two-ply modified by human torch down and we go straight over the stone. And I'm going to show you how it's done easily. And this is what it looks like. <coughs> when we got here, this is what it looks like. Okay, we got the... So we clean up all the twigs, plant material and unnecessary stuff. And then we're going to level this off a little bit so water doesn't pool here. And this is our roof for the day or maybe two days. Yeah, I want to explain something. The idea is not to take the stone off because then you get this uneven, uh, uneven tar that's boiled up like this. You don't want that. So what you do is you spread the stone. They have it all piled up in the middle here. And we spread it all over the, like this. And when we spread it, we break it. So you get a fairly, you see that? A fairly smooth, smooth surface, even surface. That's what you want to do, like that. See, nice and smooth now. Not like bumpy. That's what you want. Otherwise, We had uh, water sitting here at the end of the roof and so I just got it loaded off now. This was ponding here so we're going to fill this up with more stone here so it's not ponding anymore. All right now I'm smoothing this out the surface so it's nice and smooth. I use my uh, in my fancy invention. I screwed my squeegee to a two by four, and I'm dragging it all over just to get like bumps like that. Make it nice and smooth. See, nice. Look at that. See, it works nice. All right. So we got. Let me show you how it works. Okay. Okay. Next step after you level the roof, it's pretty nice and level now. We put a base down. It's a fiber base. Well, I don't know, it's a kind of a paper. Let me show you what it is. It's a firestone. It says modified base. Uh, this is what I use. Uh, it's paper and glass fiber and asphalt, I don't know, it's a special paper, but that's what I use. Okay, you got the idea. All right, let's go. Let me show you. No, nothing, it's not coming through. Now, you may have one pebble here that comes through, but you just take it out. But, uh, 
is nice and flat and the surface is ready for the next step. Now we will put more, more screw of these washers in to hold the paper down. Okay, so we will put more down. We just put this down now to hold it. So we got this uh, base paper over the stone after we raked the stone and now we got the base paper and the next step is we're putting another base down. This is a self-adhering base. Um, I use, what I use? I use Dynagrip, Dynagrip base, SDSA, whatever. This is John Mansfield that makes this one. And uh, that's when I got a torch. If I want a torch, I use this one because it, I'll explain to you why. It has a little bit of sand texture, so it's not completely uh, plastic. So when I do my my torch down, it doesn't. I can move it around and stick. It doesn't stick right away, but it, it torch very nice. This is a beautiful bait. But you can see it's stuck together already. You cannot even. Look, I cannot even peel this off, and it's not even hot today. You see that? It sticks. We haven't done anything yet. So it sticks very well. So the, how we do it is a peel and stick system. So they lie, lie lay it out, okay? I want to show you a, a core sample after I've done this roof. So watch this video, and at the end of the video, I'm going to cut the roof. Moment. At the end of the video, I'm going to cut this roof open and show you a core sample compared to an EPDM or a TPO roof. And then you'll see why this is the best roofing system on the planet. And then um, it's going to rain tonight, so we're bringing it up underneath this. So at least it will not we can prevent from leaking underneath this roof. Now, we don't want the roof to get wet underneath it. So, this is a peel and stick base. And I make sure it's... Plastic off. See? That's it. And it's fixed. To the plastic, and that's it. You're done. Next roll come. All right. So now we got the the self stick base done over the paper base, which is over the stone. You can see that this is all done now. We went up the walls, the parapet walls, and underneath the coping tiles, everywhere. This is now tight. Even if it's gonna rain tonight, and this wall roof won't leak, because it's a self-stick, it's well done, it's, we, we, everything is tight. There is no reason for it to leak. So now, tomorrow, we're gonna be back with our material, and we're gonna start torching uh, the cap sheet. But you got the idea, it looks pretty good. Nobody can tell there's even stone on this roof. It's clean, it's flat, and now we're ready to do a torch down on this. All right, that's it. Okay, so it rained last night, and heavy, heavy rainstorm, so this is what it looks like. Water. A little bit of water sitting here, but it's not because it sits, it's just the water, didn't, it's not sloped. But you can see we don't have any pooling anymore, like we used to have. So um, that's nice. 
So all we're going to do now is uh, blow this off and then start torching. Okay. Okay. So here we go. We're starting our first roll. And the roof is sort of dry. We dry it as we go. And that's it. You roll this roll out. Get it in position. And it's... This is two hours later, we got here like 7.30 but we had to dry the roof and an hour and a half later we got a third of it done. So it's going pretty good. But now you know the process of going over a gravel roof. That is the process. Um, this roof will last 40 years beyond. I'm not kidding. I, I get critiques, but this is my system, this is what I came up with 20 years ago, 25 years ago, and I have roofs that looks just like this one, even after 20 years, after 25 years. They don't even look anything different, they, they don't age. So if you want a roof that's going to last a long time, uh, unlike EPDM or TPO, this I cannot tell you how long it's going to last. but. Uh, it definitely will be beyond 40 years, I think more than 60 years, because I've never seen anything go bad on these roofs. And if it's done right, that's it. Alrighty. As promised, I'm going to cut this roof open. We just did this roof. You can see the entire roof is complete. And I'm going to cut it open to give you a core sample. Unfortunately, I only have a sample of EPDM here. Uh, it's like a cover tape, but it's the same thickness of EPDM. And TPO is the same thickness. I don't have a TPO, I'm sorry. But uh, I thought I had it on me, but I don't. So I'm going to show you the thickness of the EPDM and TPO is about this thickness. is a quarter thick, if you take a quarter. And I'm going to show you what this core sample looks like, what we just did. And I see it. All right, so I'm going to cut this open. Alright, I just cut my roof open, I just made. How do you look like that? You cannot beat that. Look at that. This is what you get. There's no comparison. 40 years versus 10 years maximum. So you want to pay a little bit more and get 40 years? Or you want to pay less, a few dollars less? You buy a PC or a Mac? That's the difference. Mac is forever, this is for a few years. Anyway, I cut it open. Now let me show you, look what we covered the, uh, the pebbles with this. That's what it looks like. Okay, so I'm going to fix this now. Let me show you how I fix this quickly without having to worry about it. Um, I can torch over this or I'm going to show you how I fix it with uh, turbo poly seal. Like this, quickly.
Alright, I just do this. Check this out. This this is just as good. It will last just as long. Once I cover this, watch. With turbo poly seal. If you have a, a leak on the roof, I put my fleece over it. Uh, put my fleece over that and now I got a strong patch there that's I just patched the roof after I cut it open okay now this is an unbelievable product I use this all the time and I just want to show how I use this product as well okay now this is done. Now I'm going to do the flashing here because this is not done. So let me check you the flashing. See the flashing here between the two mem uh, the, the the curb. Watch how easy I fix this. That's done. That's how quickly I can fix a curb flashing. I put this on there. Make a transition. Okay. And I have flashing that will never come loose from this metal. I'm done. I use this stuff. I use this stuff and I do my flashing and I'm done. Never have to worry about it again. I'm the flat roof doctor. I know a thing or two. Because I've seen a thing or two. Love, 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 love. All right. I hope uh, you learned something and you can do it yourself. All right. I'm out of here. Hey, please subscribe. Please subscribe. I forgot to ask you. Please subscribe. Please, 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 please subscribe. Bye bye.